And then what I'm going to do, I have to spotlight myself. That. That's for everyone. And then um, there's a way I can do it where I can just mute all of you. There we go. Okay. Okay, say bye. All right, so you guys are all muted right now. You can unmute yourself if you want to, if you need to say something, right? But other than that, it's gonna keep you all muted. <coughs> Just so we don't have any background noise. All right, let me fix the camera just a little bit here. All right, I'm gonna stand up and we will start like this. All right, so take your feet around hip width, do your high chi, you're just gonna lift one heel and the other. So you're just going back and forth here. trying to open ourselves up, right? So we're trying to lift the feet so the legs move, you don't have to take a step or anything, move your arms, get all the blood flowing so that everything else you can do with a little more ease. All right, then when you're ready here, you're gonna come, take your hands up to the sky. Let's do our skier. So you're gonna bend your knees, send your hips back and down, put your belly to your thighs, sweep your hands back behind you. Okay, and then push forward, come all the way back up. All right, so let's do that 10 times, so nine more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then come all the way up here. Let your hands come down. All right, now let's take our feet wide so we can do our pinwheels. So take your feet wider than hip width, as wide as it feels good to you to stand, right? Still stable. Take your hands up to the sky. Take your left hand to your right ankle, right hand up to the sky. Keep everything straight, your legs, your arms, your back. So we start to stretch out the legs. We start to wake up the core. All right, we're gonna do two more on each side. Last one. Come all the way up. Now let your hands come down to your sides and then bring your feet together. Now we're still gonna stand up here, right? We're gonna do our leg circles, which we haven't done in a little bit, right? So I want you to stand with your feet hip width. You can have your hands wherever you want once we get going. They could be on your waist. They could be up to the sky if you want to be a little more challenging. Right? They could be dangling at your sides. Now, you're going to put all your weight into your right foot at first. We're going to move with the left foot. Right? We're going to do this circle. So you're going to take your left foot, right? You're going to keep it pointed. You're going to kick it in front of you. Now, you can drop your toes to the ground here. You don't have to balance the whole time. You can keep your foot up the whole time. Then you flex it. Bring it around to the side. All right, so let's do eight of those. So we're gonna do seven more. Take it forward, bring it around. Take it forward, bring it around. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so now we're standing. How did that feel, right? I know you guys are all muted, so you can't tell me, but it's been a while since we've done these. What, something to think about when we're doing these, right? You want everything to stay in line. Just your hip is moving, right? So you don't wanna be leaning to the right, leaning to the left. You don't wanna be coming forward or back, right? Everything stays in line. Your upper body should stay perfectly still. Now here, we're gonna go out to the side. So we're still moving the left leg, still stabilizing on the right leg, right? So you're gonna come up off that left heel here. This time you're just gonna kick your left foot out to the left. And again, you can tap your toes down to the mat or you can keep it hovering, but then you flex your foot, make a little U shape, bring it around the back. So it's gotta come back behind you a little bit, right? It just doesn't go in and out. It makes a circle. So let's do that seven more times. Seven, six, five, 
five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now last thing here, right? We do the back, backwards, backside mechanics, right? So this time your foot's gonna stay flexible time. Still moving the left foot, right? You're gonna kick it back behind you, resist the urge to lean forward, right? You just wanna come forward, kick that foot way up. We're not doing that, right? Keep your shoulders over your hips. Just kick back as far as you can. You should feel that hamstring engage. Keep your foot flexed, bring it around. All right, so seven more like that. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so now we come to a stop here. So you should feel that by now in your right glute, right? Because that was the stabilizing leg that was doing the work of holding you up. All right, so let's try the other side. So you're gonna put all your weight now into your left foot. Keep your hands on your waist, at heart center, out to the side, up to the sky, whatever's good for you, right? The little bend in that, Right knee at first, you're on your right toes. You're gonna to kick that right foot forward, right? So your foot is pointed as you kick it forward. Toes on the ground or toes hovering. And then you flex the foot, bring it around, drop it back down next to your left, all right? So seven more like that. Forward and around, six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so come to a stop here. Now we're gonna go out to the side with that. All right, so again, still stabilizing on the left foot, lift your right heel. This time you kick that right foot straight out to the side. Again, toes pointed, maybe they have to drop to the mat. Maybe they stay up the whole time. You flex the foot, bring it around the back. So it's a U shape, right? It's not just straight in and out, right? We're taking it around. So let's do that seven more times, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, the last thing with these leg circles, we're gonna do the back side, right? So still putting the weight into the left foot, keeping the right foot flexed this whole time here. Just kick it back behind you, keep that right leg straight, keep your shoulders over your hips and then bring that right foot around. So seven more like that to the back and around. Six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now come to a stop. So you should feel that in your left glute. All right, so now finally, we need to come and have a seat. So you're gonna to try to do that without using your hands. Maybe you can just lift your heels and drop down. Maybe you crisscross your feet. Maybe you go one knee at a time, bringing yourself down to the mat. All right, so let's do our hook line scoops here, just to finish warming up, right? And then we're gonna come down for our back. Now what I'm gonna tell you guys, right now that you're sitting down before we get started here, if you have a block, like this. You can use that. If you don't, it's okay. I'll show you a way to do it. Well, we're not using the block, but if you have a block, it'll be helpful, right? Now, but not for this part. Just give me a chance to go grab your block if you have one. You're gonna take your arms out long in front of you, right? Engage your core. Then you're gonna make fists with your hands, pull your elbows to your ribs. Tuck your chin to your chest, look down at your belly, and then go halfway down. The right side, halfway Point, that icky place where you, now you want to come all the way up or all the way down. You feel your belly engaging, that low belly, right? So you're going to lift your chin up to the sky. And you're going to push your belly all the way back to your thighs. So your chin's tilting up. You're kind of looking up at the ceiling or up at the horizon. Chin's off the chest. Then we go back down. You tuck the chin to the chest again. You come to that halfway point. Your elbows stay glued to your ribs the whole time. Lift your chin, push it back up. So let's do eight more of those. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now 
push your belly all the way up, hug around your shins, tuck your chin to your chest, around your forehead towards the mat. All right, now let's come all the way down here, right onto the back. So I'm just turning sideways so you guys can see what I'm doing. You can stay where you are. You take your arms out long and just let yourself go down. We come all the way down here. Now we're gonna bring our legs into floating table, right? So you look like this. And then you're gonna lift your elbows up. You're gonna bend, right? So that your elbows are going towards your knees, right? Your hands are framing your face. So if you have a block, you can put the block against your knees, right? And lean far forward enough that your elbows come to the block and you're holding everything together. Your head and shoulders lift slightly, you're right here. Now, if this is not gonna work for you, right? If you, or I shouldn't say that. If you don't have the block, right? You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna bring your elbows to your knees. Maybe you gotta pull your knees in a little further, right? And you're here, right? So if you have the block, you're here. If you don't, you're here. And I just want you to hold this at first, right? Especially if you have the block, you can't move, right? Or the block's gonna fall. Hold for five more breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now you're gonna let your head and shoulders come down, grab the block if you had it, right? Put it back down. Keep your legs at the floating table. Now, here's what we're gonna do here, right? You're gonna take, if you have the block, take it to one leg. Let's start with the left leg, right? So you have the block against your left leg and you're gonna lift up, you're gonna bring your right elbow to the block. Your left arm is gonna go overhead. Your right leg is gonna go long, right? So you look like this, everything's hovering, right? Your heel's hovering here. The back of your hand is hovering. Now, if you don't have a block, right, you're just here. You're gonna pull that knee in a little bit, get it to your elbow. And then you're gonna take your right leg up. You're gonna take your left hand up. So you're coming outside your arms because your right elbow is gonna stay to your left knee this whole time. Reach up towards your left foot or your right foot with your left hand and then drop them all back down, right? So you're just moving like that, right? If you have the block, it looks like this. All right, so we're gonna do it eight more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. All right, you let your head and shoulders come down, hug your knees all the way into your chest. You have that block, grab it, put it to the side. We gotta do that on the other side. So here, right, we're gonna take the block if you have one, right? Now it comes to your right thigh and you bring your left elbow over. Your left leg goes long, heel hovering, right arm goes overhead, right? And then we lift, the left leg and the right hand up, reach them towards each other. So you gotta go around your right leg and your left elbow, right? So you're maybe not gonna touch. And then you come back down. Now if you don't have a block, right, just like this. Still going up and down. All right, so let's do eight more here. Whether you've got the block or you just got your elbow to your knee. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now let your head and shoulders come down, put the blocks aside, take your knees, hug them to your chest. All right, now from here. If you have a block, you're gonna take it in your hands. Your legs are gonna go long and the block's gonna go overhead. Right, so we're essentially just gonna do right, our transfers here. Like I think we did even did these last week, right? Just without the block, right? So you can do them without a block. Right? What you're gonna do here, you're gonna lift your hands up to the sky, holding the block if you have it, just touching each other if you don't, right? Now lift your legs up. So you come here, 
right? Now, if you're holding the block, you're gonna put the block between your feet and then you're here, right? If you're not, then you're just reaching your hands up towards your feet, right? Then we drop the legs down, take your arms back up overhead, and then you come up. So the key here, the reason we're using the block, right? Trying to keep the legs together as you go up and down, right? So you don't want your legs to be coming around like this as you move up and down. You want them to stay parallel. When you have the block there, you have to keep them together as you go up and down, right? But again, you can do this completely without the block. Just think about your legs staying together, your arms staying together as they come up and down. Everything moves together. Just going up and down. Up and down. Now you can bend your knees a little bit on the way up, whether you're using the block or not. That's a little cheat if you need to. And if you can keep your legs straight, keep them straight. We're gonna do this five more times. Five. Four. Three. Two. one. Now, let your legs come all the way down. Extend everything long. Now. If you have the block here, you're going to put it between your feet and your feet are going to stay up to the sky. All right? So you got to squeeze them together, hold the block up there. Now again, this is just to keep the legs perfectly in par feel perfectly parallel and to engage your inner thighs a little bit as you're squeezing together. If you don't have a block, right, your feet are literally squeezing together, right? Your feet, your heels stay right over your hips, right? Because your legs are going to move, not for this part, right? So you're just right here. Now, your arms are going to go overhead right now. And then you're just going to lift up, reach towards the block. Now, you're not grabbing the block this time, right? You're just staying right here and you're going to pulse. Your head and shoulders should be up off the ground. And then you're going to reach a little higher, pulse, pulse. So you don't come all the way down. You just lift a little higher each time. You go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, now let yourself come all the way down. All right, now, if you have the block between your feet, we're gonna take the block off to the side. We're gonna use it again in a second, but nobody's gonna move it here, right? Because we want our arms and our legs to move opposite from each other now, right? So your arms are overhead. Reach your fingertips towards the back of the room. Take your left leg, drop it down to your left heel covers, right? And then we're gonna come up here. Your right hand goes outside your right leg. Left hand reaches up, see how my left shoulder's off the back. I'm reaching my left fingertips towards my right foot. And then I'm gonna pull that left leg back up both my arms are going to go back overhead. All right, now you're going to drop your right leg. Let your right heel hover the ground. Lift up off the mat. Left hand goes outside the left thigh. Right hand reaches towards the left foot. Right shoulders off the ground. And then take both arms overhead. Pull your right leg back up. So we're just going to alternate here. Just reach left hand towards the right leg. Arms overhead. Right hand towards the left leg. Arms overhead. Left hand towards the right leg. Arms overhead. Right hand towards the left leg. Arms overhead. So we're gonna do six more here. Six on each side. Six. Five. Five. Which side we're on? Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. Last one. One. And one. All right, now let yourself come all the way down here. Bend into your knees, hug them to your chest. All right, now we're going to use the block again here. I'm going to come around. I'm going to flip around so that I'm on my right side first. All right, I'm going to lay on my right hip. 
So I'm propping up on my right arm. My legs are long. Now I'm gonna take this block in between my feet. Right, so I'm here. So my legs are long, squeeze the block between my feet. All right, I've got my right shoulder over my right elbow. Now, you're gonna take your left hand, your left hand's gonna to go to your hip. You're gonna lift both legs up and then bring them down. All right, so we're just going up and down. Now, if you don't have a block, do the same thing. I want you to keep your left foot, I'm like, what side are we on? Off the right there, right? So your feet aren't together. You're not using that one to push the other, right? They're just coming up and down, like you're holding something in between, all right? So we're gonna do that eight more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, all right, now you're gonna come around, you're gonna flip to the other side, right? If you're, you can just flip over right, wherever you are. I'm gonna flip around so you guys can still see me on the other side. So now I'm gonna prop up on my left elbow, block can be between the feet, or feet can just be separated slightly. The important thing here is that your legs are going straight out, right? You're one straight line, left shoulder over the left elbow, left elbow in line with the left hip, legs in one straight line, left heel lined up with the left hip, right? You don't want your legs way out here, or back behind you, right? You want everything in one straight line. Right hand's gonna go on the right hip, and then we just lift and lower. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. All right, now I'm going to come back around and we're going to lay back on our back. This time you don't need to use a block at all, whether you have one or not, right? You're going to bring yourself onto your back and then we're going to come back here into floating table. So that means your knees come right over your hips, your calves are parallel to the ground, toes are pointed towards the sky. Now you're gonna bring your head and shoulders, lift them up, right? So your fingertips are reaching towards the front of the room. Now all I want you to do here at first, we're gonna do this about 10 times each leg. Just take your right leg, kick it forward, hover your right heel over the mat, and then pull the right leg back in. All right, so you want your right knee to come right over your hips. I'm not really that good. Right now, right, mine are pulled way in. I don't want you to be there. I want you to have your tailbone on the ground, right? And then you're gonna kick your left leg out. Pull it right back into floating table. Take your right leg, pull it back into floating table. Left leg, back into floating table. Now you can have your head, in, your head down if you want to, just keeping your fingertips and your shoulders elevated like we're doing the hundreds, but if you can, keep your head lifted. All right, we're gonna do it eight more times on each side. Eight. Eight. Seven. Seven. Six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two. Two, last one, one, and one. All right, now let your head and shoulders come down, take your knees, hug them into your chest. All right, we're gonna do that again, but this time we're gonna do the double. So we're gonna move both legs together, right? So you've got your knees back on that floating table, you lift your head and shoulders. Now here, you can do the Pilates V if you want, right? So your heels are together, or just keep your legs parallel. You could also take the block and put it between your feet if you want to, help you keep your feet parallel, right? We're gonna kick both legs straight out, hovering them as low as you can, right? So it's like a little canoe when you come all the way out, right? Your canoe could be higher, you could be up here, right? Whatever your body allows for, bend your knees, stop them right at floating table. So kick them out, 
We're in back to floating tables. So we're gonna do that eight more times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, And then let your head and shoulders come down, hug your knees into your chest. All right, now from here, you're gonna take your legs up to the sky, right? And again, you're gonna lift your head and shoulders if you can, right? If you need to keep your head down, keep your head down. Right? What we're gonna do here, you're gonna give little flutter kicks, letting your feet come towards the ground and then you're gonna bring them back up, right? So it looks like this, flutter all the way down, we flutter on the way up, flutter down, flutter up. All right, so let's do that eight more times, no, nine more times, up and down, eight more times now. Seven, you can make your kicks as big or as little as you want to, six more. Five more. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Down and come back up. As you come back up, let your head and shoulders come down. Let your legs relax. All right, now from here, take your left leg, let it come down, keep your right leg up. All right, so again, you can lift your head and shoulders here, or you can keep your head and shoulders down. All right, we're just gonna scissor here first. You pull that left leg all the way up, drop that right leg all the way down. Pull that right leg all the way up, drop that left leg down. Do that about three more times, just like that. And then after this last one, right, you're gonna to start to make it so that your legs are crossing. So as your right leg comes down and you start to bring it up, your left leg's all the way dropping. So they cross at a 45 degree angle instead of when your legs are straight up to the sky. Do five more times like that. Five, five, four, four, three, three, Two, two, last one, one, and one. And then bring your legs all the way up, let your head and shoulders come down, take your knees, hug them into your chest. And then from here, let yourself roll to one side or the other. We're gonna bring it up here into a tabletop. All right, we're gonna do some work from here and tabletop. So I'm gonna kind of come straight ahead right now so that hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Maybe I should go sideways. Yeah, I'll go sideways, let me see if that's better. <laughs> I just want you guys to be able to see a whole body here. All right, so you're gonna tuck your toes under, all right? And then you're gonna press into your palms, lift your knees off the mat until they hover just above the mat. All right, so you're not hovering table. All right, now here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna tap your left knee down while your right knee stays hovering. Pick that left knee up. Tap your right knee down while your left knee stays hovering. Pick the right knee up. Tap the left knee, pick it up. Tap the right knee, pick it up. Tap the left knee. Now you're here, your left knee is gonna stay down, right? And you're gonna extend your right leg back behind you. All right, so those left toes are tucked. Now what you're gonna do here, you're gonna press into your left toes, Lift your left knee up off the mat. You're gonna push yourself into a one-legged down dog. So it looks like this. So that right leg just goes all the way up to the sky. And then you're gonna come back forward, bend into your left knee, shoulders over the wrists, come back to where you were. 
right? And then pull that right knee in, you're back in that hover, let both knees come down. So I want to start doing crazy things, okay? Because I've got my wrist so flexed. All right, so we're gonna do that again on the other side, basically means this time we're gonna lift the knees up. Okay, so you're in that hovering table, tap the right knee, lift it up. I didn't get that, could you try again? Watch yourself going crazy. Tap the left knee, lift it up. Tap the right knee, lift it up. Tap the left knee, lift it up. This time, right knee is going to stay down. You're going to kick that left leg back behind you. So it's almost like you're in spinal balance. But you've got those right toes tucked. Press into your right toes. Lift that right leg and straighten it. Let that left leg kick to the sky. And then come back down. Shoulders over the wrists. Bend to the right knee till it hovers. Tap the Left toes down to both knees are hovering. Then drop them both back down to the ground. All right, so we're gonna do that twice more on each side, that whole sequence. All right, so now that you've seen it. So you tuck your toes under. You lift the knees up off the mat. Left knee taps, lifts. Right knee taps, lifts. Left knee taps, lifts. Right knee taps, lifts. Left knee taps and stays down. Right leg kicks back behind you, press into your left toes, come to that one-legged down dog. And then shift your sh shoulders over your wrists, bend into your left knee till it hovers, bend your right knee, bring it to join, and then drop both knees. All right, now we're gonna do that on the right side. Just to get back in place, let both knees lift at first from the hovering table. Right knee drops, lifts. Left knee drops, lifts. Right knee, left knee. This time as the right knee comes down, it stays down. You kick that left leg behind you, press into your right toes, lift up one-legged dog. Come back forward, bend into your left knee, bring the right knee to join it. Both legs are hovering, drop them down. All right, so we're gonna do that one more time on each side. If you're feeling it in your arms, I am, right? So we're gonna tuck the toes under, try to take it more into the core, right? Don't make your arms do all the work. Press your palms away from that, lift those knees. Tighten your belly so your belly does the work, all right? Left knee drops, lift it up. Right knee drops, lift it up. Left knee, right knee. Left knee stays down, right leg kicks back behind you. Press into your left toes, lift up to one-legged dog. Shift forward, bend the left knee, let it hover. Bring the right knee to hover with it. Drop them both down, tabletop. All right, we're just gonna do that one more time on the right side or on the left side, depending on how you wanna think about it. All right, lift your knees up, come to that hovering table. Tap the right knee, tap the left knee. Tap the right knee, tap the left knee. Tap the right knee, leave it down. Press, take your left leg, extend it long. Press into your right toes, lift up. One legged dog, and then shift forward, bend back into your right knee, hover it, bring the left knee to hover, and then let your knees both come down to the mat. Flatten your feet, push yourself back into, tape, into child's pose. Give that little back a break, let those arms take a break. Maybe your arms are going to sweep back behind you. All right, and then when you're ready here, we're gonna come back up to the tabletop, right? Let your hips come to one side or the other. Swing your legs around in front of you. We're gonna do a little work here in our boat now, right? So you're gonna lift your feet up off the mat, take your arms out long, right? Now, maybe you can stay right here. You wanna straighten your legs, hands up to the sky. Right, maybe you have to do this with your toes on the ground. We're gonna use our arm here, our arms here. So don't put your hands around your knees, right? I'll give you that option later when we do something else, right? But I want you to bring your hands together here and make little fists. And we're just gonna do our Russian twist here. Just means you're gonna bring your hands outside your right leg, right? Keep your knees where they are. Bring your hands back to center, take them the other way, right? So as we go back and forth here, you want your torso, your upper body to be moving. You don't want your legs to be switch pushing, right? Just your torso. torso. All right, so we're gonna do it five more times each side. Five, five, four, 
four, three, three, two, two, last one, one, and one. Now, put your feet to the ground, put your belly to your thighs, hug around your shins, tuck your chin to your chest, round out. Take that release. All right, now from here, you're gonna take your arms long again, right? We're gonna lift up into boat. Again, here you can have your hands on your knees if you need to in your boat. No, it's not, it goes sideways so that you guys can see. Okay. Or, like I said, you can have your hands on your knees, you can have your toes on the ground, but your arms are, or, but you're uh, lifting your chest, taking your crown of your head towards the sky. All right, now from here, right? Everybody's gonna drop their feet to the ground. You're gonna sweep your hands back behind you. fingertips, point towards the glutes, or if it's better for you, fingertips point out to the sides. You're gonna push into your feet, push into your palms, lift your hips up, so you're coming to that reverse table, right? So now you're here on a reverse table, here's what I want you to do. Swing your hips back as you come down. So your hips come between your hands. Extend your legs long, and then take your hands up, or take your hands straight out in front of you, right? You're gonna tuck your chin to your chest, you're gonna round all the way down, right? So come down to your back, take your arms overhead, or have the space to pretend I have more space, and we're gonna come into a roll up, right? So it can be a dead bug roll up if you wanna take your feet up, reach your hands up, roll up, right? Or it can be a straight up roll up, where you just peel your upper body up off the mat. As soon as you get all the way up, you're coming back into your boat. All right, so that's the whole sequence. We're gonna do it five more times. So you're in boat, right? Your boat could be here. Your boat could be here. Your boat could be here. Right? From your boat, drop your feet to the ground, sweep your hands back behind you, push into your palms, lift up into your reverse table. So you're trying to push your hips as high as you can, so maybe that they're even with your knees. Now, as you come back down, don't just drop your hips straight back down, right? You're gonna sweep back, drop your hips between your hands. Extend your legs long, then reach your hands out forward, roll yourself all the way down with your arms overhead. And then from there, you're gonna pull up into your version of a roll up, whether it's the dead bug or it's the full, right? Once we come all the way up, then we're gonna bring it back into boat. Right, and then from your boat, you drop your feet, take your hands back behind you. Give myself more space here by moving up, and we're going to push up into that reverse table. Get your arms as high as you can as you come down from the reverse table. Right, sweep your hips back, drop them between your hands, extend your legs long, take your arms in front of you, roll it all the way down. And then we're going to come up, do one simple roll up, whether it's a dead bug or it's a full roll up. Bring yourself back up. Once you come back up and you're sitting up, take it back into your boat. All right, so let's do that three more times. We're in our boat. I'm gonna drop my feet, sweep my hands back behind me, push up into reverse table. Come down from your reverse table, sweeping your hips back between your wrists. Extend your legs, arms go in front of you, roll it on down. And then from there, do your roll up, come straight up. Once you get all the way up, bring it back into boat, right? Find your boat and then drop your feet, sweep your hands back behind you, lift up into that reverse table. From your reverse table, take your hips, sweep them back between your wrists, extend your legs long, extend your arms in front of you, roll all the way down. Draw all the way down, roll it back up. And then from there, bring it back into your boat. Land your boat, and then take it to reverse table. Drop your feet, sweep your hands back behind you, lift your hips up. And then you're gonna sweep your hips back between your hands, extend your legs, reach your arms in front of you, come all the way down, arms overhead, and then come all the way up to your roll up. All right, we're just gonna do that one more time through, right? So once we're sitting up here, you're gonna come up into boat. And then from your boat, drop your feet, sweep your hands back behind you, lift up, 
reverse table. From your reverse table, sweep your hips back between your hands. Take your arms long, or take your legs long. Take your arms long, but straight in front of you. Roll all the way down, and then roll it back up. As we come all the way back up. Right now, we're gonna take a pause here, right? Come all the way into that forward fold if you want to, right? Or just sit up in your sat pose, whatever feels better. We're just trying to let that, those hamstrings stretch out, let that back release. All right, now from here, we're gonna come back down to our back, right? So you're gonna come down to your back. As you come down, right, now you're gonna bend your knees and then you're gonna bring your legs to the bound ankle position. That means the soles of your feet are together, right? Now for this first part, you're gonna take your hands either to cactus arms, that means bent elbows with your palms up to the sky, elbows even with the shoulders, fingertips reaching back towards your head, or you can come to your arms with a T, palm face down, with your fingertips just reaching straight out of your shoulder blades, okay? So what we're gonna do here at first, you're gonna you're, pretend like you're a butterfly and you're flapping your wings. You're gonna bring your knees together and then open them back up. So your soles of your feet stay together. Bring your knees together, open them back up, right? Do that seven more times here. Seven, six, five, four, feel it in your inner thighs, three, two, and one. Now, the legs are gonna open back up here. If you can, you're gonna lift your feet up, let your feet hover off the mat. Now take your arms overhead, right? You're gonna peel up, let your head and shoulders come up and reach your hands between your legs, all right? And then you're gonna let your head and shoulders come down, take your arms overhead. I just want you to do that eight times, so seven more, right? Ideally, your feet are hovering. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, this time you're gonna come up, right? And you're gonna hold here, and you're just gonna pulse for 10. Right, so it means you're reaching your fingertips toward your toes, lifting up higher, coming back, but not all the way down. It's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, let your feet come back down. Take your arms back up overhead. All right, think about your legs. Think about where your knees are right now, right? What I want you to do is put your feet there. So it means you're going to be here in a constructive rest with your arms overhead, but with wide legs, right? So your feet, pinky toes may be lined up towards the edge of your mat. All right. So with your feet on the ground, right? Just bring your hands together. Maybe you make that fist. Maybe your palms are just pressing to each other, right? And you're going to lift your head and shoulders up. Bring your hands outside your right knee. Right. So I've lifted my left shoulder and come all the way back down. I'm gonna come up, bring my hands outside my left knee, right? And then come all the way back down. Now, from here, right, when you come back down after you've gone to the right and you've gone to the left, now you're gonna drop your knees to the right. Bring them back up. Drop your knees to the left. Your arms stay overhead, your shoulders stay on the ground. So you're making those obliques work here to move your legs up and down. Now take your legs back up, peel your head and shoulders up, bringing that those hands outside your right leg, come back down. Peel up, bring your hands outside your left leg. Come back down, right? Now here, you drop the knees to the right, keeping everything else steady. Pick them up, drop them to the left. Pick them up, peel your head and shoulders up, hands outside the right thigh, come back down. Peel up, hands outside the left thigh, come back up. Drop your knees to the right, pull them back up, drop them to the left, pull them back up. We're just gonna do that three more times here, right? So we lift up, hands outside the right thigh, come back down. Lift up, hands outside the left thigh, come back down. Arms stay steady overhead, shoulders stay on the ground. Knees drop to the right, pull them back to center, 
drop them to the left, pull them back to center. Twice more through, we're gonna lift up, reach the hands outside the right thigh, come back down. Lift up, reach your hands outside the left thigh, come back down, hands stay steady, drop your knees right, pull them together, pull them back up, not together, <laughs> drop them to the left, pull them back up. All right, one more time here. Lift up, hands outside the right thigh, drop it back down. Lift up, hands outside the left thigh, drop it back down. Knees go to the right, pull them up. Knees go to the left, pull them up. And then from here, let your whole body turn to one side or the other, and we're gonna push ourselves all the way up to seated. All right, from here, we're gonna come into tabletop. Again, right, so that's that hands and knees pose. You want your shoulders to be over your wrists, your hips over your knees. All right, and we're gonna do our little twists here. And then we're gonna do our shoulder tap. So you've got three different levels here. You can do this from tabletop, right? You can, that's the easiest. You can do this from a modified plank. That means your knees go back behind you so that your upper body's in a diagonal, you one straight line from your shoulders down to your knees, but you still got your shoulders over your wrists. You can do this from full plank where you're up on your toes, right? I'm gonna turn sideways, I think it's easier. I thought I could do this one straight ahead. But really, it's easier for you guys to see my whole body. All right, now we're here. Now, from here, right, all you're gonna do, you're gonna drop your heels to the right and bend into your knees, right? So it's like you're dropping your right hip towards the ground. Then you're gonna come back to center. Then you're gonna go the other way, heels drop to the left, bend into your knees, drop your hips. So it's like this, and that's from full plank. Now, if you're down on your knees already, right, your feet are gonna sweep to the right, and drop that left hip towards the ground, or that right hip towards the ground, sorry. Come back up, sweep your feet to the left, drop that left hip towards the ground, come back around. If you're on tabletop, right, then it's the same thing. You're sweeping your feet, dropping your hip, coming back. So as I'm doing this in tabletop, my opposite knee almost lifts off, right? So I'm dropping my knees, my right knee's coming off the ground as I sweep my hips over to the left, right? So it could just be this if you're in tabletop. If you're modified plank, it's this, right? If you're full plank, it's this. All right, so find your spot. We're gonna do it eight more times on each side, all right? I'm gonna start by going with my heels to the right, dropping my right hip. Heels to the left, dropping my left hip. Seven more. Seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two. Two, last one, one, and one. Come back to the plank, drop to your knees, shift back to child's pose. All right, so we got one more thing to do from that tabletop modified plank or plank, right? And that's the shoulder taps. So you're gonna come here, right? Here's your tabletop. So I'll start from easiest to hardest this time, right? So easiest thing, you stay in tabletop. You pick up your right hand, tap your left shoulder, drop it down. Pick up your left hand, tap your right shoulder, drop it down, right? Same thing, maybe you do this from modified plank, tap, tap. Maybe you do this from full plank, tap, tap. Now, you're trying to keep your hips still, still than mine were when I did in that full plank, right? You don't want to, you don't want to sway your hips from side to side like we were doing when we did the twists, right? You want your hips to stay still. All right, so we're gonna do it 10 times on each side, right? So find your place, 10, 10, nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, Three, three, 
two, two, one, one. Now everybody's gonna come to their knees, push it back to child's pose. All right, when you're ready here, come back up to tabletop. And then we're gonna drop our hips to one side or the other. We're gonna swing our legs around in front of us. And we're gonna do a little combo stretching and core move as we start to cool it down, all right? So you're here, take your feet as wide as you can. All right, now, as we do this first, you're gonna take your right hand, sweep it back behind you. So it's behind your right hip, all right? And then you're gonna bend into your left knee, put your left foot on the ground, right? So see how my right leg is still long, my right, my left foot, I bend into it, put it on the mat. Now I'm gonna press into that left foot and I'm gonna press into the right hand. I'm gonna let my right toes fall out to the right. Lift up, right? Now you're gonna drop it down, drop your right hip back down, kick your left leg back long, right? And then take your left hand, reach it towards your right foot, bring your right hand to join it. So you want that left hip to stay on the ground now as you're doing this, right? Don't let your left hip lift, don't lean to the right, right? Just bring your hands around. If you don't grab your foot, you're grabbing your ankle or your shin or your knee. Take three breaths here. And then come back up. Now we're gonna go the other way. So you're taking that left hand, bringing it back behind you, back behind your hip, bend into your right knee, press into your right foot, press into your left hand, let your left toes fall out to the left. Lift your left, both hips, actually, yes, off the ground. Reach your right hand towards the left side of the room. Drop your hips back down. Kick your right leg long. Bring your right hand over towards your right foot. Sweep that left hand, left, uh, right hand towards left foot. So you've got left hand around to join it. Fold over your left leg. Stay here three breaths. All right, now come up. All right, now we're gonna do that same thing twice more each way, all right? So, right hand goes behind you, left knee bends. Lift up, drop down, kick that left leg straight, sweep left hand towards the right foot, bring the right hand to join it. Take three breaths here to fold. Each time we fold, hopefully, right, you're getting a little bit deeper. All right, peel up. Now we go the other way. Left hand sweeps behind you. Right knee bends, right foot plants, push into your right foot, left hand, lift up, drop down, keep that right hand up, kick your right leg straight, bring your right hand towards your left foot, bring the left hand around and join it. All right, last one here, peel up, sweep your hands around, right hand's going back behind you, bend into your left knee, Lift up, drop down, keep that left hand up as you kick the left leg straight, bring the left hand to the right foot, bring the right hand around to join it. Last time in the right leg, right? So get as deep as you can. Two more breaths. And then come back up, bring it around, drop your left hand, bend into your right knee, push it to the right foot, lift up. Drop back down, kick that right leg long, sweep the right hand over to the left foot, bring the left hand to join it and fold here. And then we're gonna peel back up. Now bring yourself back to center here. Just bring your hands in the middle. If you still have your block, you can use your block. Right? And just start to walk your hands out as far forward as you can, keeping your back nice and flat. Just bringing your chest forward so you feel that stretch in the inner thighs. Two more breaths. Let yourself peel back up. Take your feet back to back in front of you. Right now we're gonna lay all the way down. We're gonna come either to our legs up the wall 
right? Or to our waterfall. So if you don't have any wall space or you don't like legs with the wall, just lay all the way down and then take your feet straight up. Just hang out right there, flexing your feet, letting the blood go from your feet where it pulls all day. Act your head and your heart, we need it more. And if you want to do it against the wall, bring your glutes right against the wall. And you're gonna sweep your legs up. And then, right, you're gonna adjust yourself, scoot the glutes up so they're touching the wall, right? So your whole leg is up the wall, your feet are up to the sky. And the same thing, right? You just got support for your legs. So wherever you are, it's good, whether you're in that legs at the wall in the center of your mat, I mean, in that waterfall in the center of your mat, or your legs at the wall against a wall. I mean, those great inversion benefits increase circulation, naturally lower blood pressure, resetting the circadian rhythm, the sleep cycle, and flooding the body with all those anti-aging, anti-stress hormones. Now stay here as long as you would like. When you're ready to come out of it, right, you're just gonna bend your knees, let them scrape along your face and body, slowly drop your feet back down to the mat. As your feet get all the way back down to the mat, or if your feet, if you're doing legs at the wall, your feet are just on the wall, you're gonna roll over into a fetal position. And then eventually we'll all come up. To seated. All right. There we go. I don't know. It usually has a way that I can unmute everybody, but it's not let me do that now. So you guys can unmute yourselves, and there we go. 